Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, and hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Uh, for your info, uh, Maestro at UMK on e-learning 2021, MOEL 21 is a webinar for sharing expert in e-learning through the UMK eCampus LMS uh, platform. So um, this uh, webinar organized by Center for Academic Excellence and Development uh, UMK. MOEL 21 series number two involve uh, basically six webinar slot and today uh, this slot which is entitled cultivating student engagement using comics via canvas slot is a slot number uh, is the slot number four. So uh, basically uh, in this uh, webinar the speaker will demonstrate how to create comics uh, for teaching aid using the Canva tool and also how to customize them for student engagement in the classroom. So before we begin, let me introduce our speaker. Our speaker today is Dr. Suraya Matnasir, um, also called as a John Suraya, um, a lecturer from University Perguruan Sultan Idris Pera, previously works in UMK, where she was appointed as a head of animation department under uh, Faculty Technology Creative and uh, Warisan. Uh, Dr. Suraya earned her Doctor of Art from Kyoto Seika University, Japan, her Master of Art and Design um, from University of Technology, Mara, and her Bachelor of um, Social Science from uh, International Islamic University, Malaysia. <clears throat> so she has received numerous awards and recognition in comics category since 2012. Her strong background in teaching and learning development, both in academic and industry, makes her the perfect fit for our topics of our webinar today. So uh, without waiting any longer, I would like to call uh, Dr. Suraya to start her sharing session. Dr. Suraya, please welcome. Hello. Thank you, Dr. Nur Saida, Dr. Ida. Uh, uh, okay, I'm so grateful for you guys to welcome me back to UMK uh, and it's always nice to come back and contribute to my, uh, uh, you know, university. So today I'm going to share a, a, a session on how to create comics, especially for teachers, for uh, tutors, for lecturers who are trying to create an engagement with the student, as you guys know. Uh, nowadays, we have uh, uh, the norm is to have uh, classes via online. So, at the same time, some students they have difficulties in you know in um, uh, uh, in internet access. So, what are the ways that we can connect with the students? Well, what I found is that comics actually can solve that problem, can provide a solution to that. Uh, issue. So, uh, if uh, can um, maybe I have some slides and I have some things that I would like to share with you guys, and let's have a look at my slide. But before that, I I would just like to uh, share a bit about my uh, work. Okay, so um, uh, my, although my background is mostly in in academics, I'm more interested in comics uh, as a theory uh, and how how comics are developed, how artists um, artists works, um, how artists create their works and the process. I'm more interested in that. But in the industrial uh, part, I am very active in comic uh, creation. I'm also a, uh, working in the pre-production uh, uh, pipeline in animation. I'm also a, a character designer, storyboard artist, and I'm also an illustrator for mostly for children's book uh, categories. Lah. So these are some of my works. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether you guys are familiar with my works, but I worked in Apple magazine before. I also worked in G3 magazine, and then uh, there are numerous local publications that I've published with, such as Comic M, and then uh, recently is with uh, Comic Maple. So here's are some of my works and then I am also involved in digital comics where I publish a lot of digital comics online such as Jojo and Juju, Seoul and Sudin which was later published in a printed format and I also published my first book in Japanese uh, published by a, a Japanese uh, publisher called uh, Digital Catapult in 2018. It's called Jia John in Japan. And then these are uh, some of my uh, recent works. 
you have Missy Adi. Missy Adi was originally uh, an animated series. If you have seen this animated series, it's uh, it's premiered on TV Al Hijrah, and now it has been published in uh, in comic form. And then I also have uh, Jijon di Japan series, and now it's in its fourth uh, volume where I shared my experience in Japan, living in Japan as a, a postgraduate student. So I, I had a lot of fun uh, drawing this story because it's my experience and a lot of students, a lot of readers actually was inspired by my experience and they wanted to go out of Malaysia and study on their own. And some even wanted to uh, study on comics because they actually, they didn't even know that there are scholarship on comics outside of Malaysia. So my book actually, you know, opened their eyes on that opportunities. And then these are the, the, the animation series that I mentioned earlier. It's called Missy Adi. This animation series, animated series were, uh, uh, were granted uh, uh, a financial aid from MDAC, uh, starting from the pre-production until the post-production. So the whole production was uh, granted the, uh, the financial aid from MDAC, which we are very much grateful for. And we have finished well, um, one whole season, um, 12 episodes times 22 minutes. And these are some of the future projects. Dijon in Japan animation. And I also created a lot of pitching materials for um, international companies, such as this is a company from uh, America, which wanted me to draw characters for their pitching materials. They wanted to pitch an animation series. So they asked me to draw some characters for them. And this is uh, the, the one on my right is character design for stop motion project in 2014, where they created my design into a stop motion modeling. And some of illustration that I did and also t-shirt designs and other work. So I'm very much, if you, if you look at my uh, style of art, it's mostly cute, you know, uh, vibrant colors. So, I feel like this is one of my uh, forte. This is one of my strength in my work, which is very much uh, easier uh, to engage with students. So I would like to apply that to my work uh, in academia, which I would like to sh share with you guys. So in 2020, I teach in, um, I taught in UMK. So in UMK, I, I did some research on my students. So what I did was I noticed that a lot of my students are struggling, struggling with, uh, you know, getting internet access. And whenever I host a Google Meet session, they couldn't even, you know, uh, join in the discussion because they don't have a, a, a strong internet access in their location. So what I did was I wanted to create something that has uh, low, uh, that use low bandwidth uh, data that they can have access to. So what I did was I created comics in order to engage with the students. So and comic itself is a, a, a good um, you know a medium to use uh, in order to interact with the student because they use a lot of uh, visual, they use visuals and they use text. Okay. So for what I did in my class, I mostly uh, use the comics as a, a how would you say a introduction to the class. Okay. So I give them the, the comics, they have to read it first, and then they will have to read the uh, supplementary materials uh, that is uh, uploaded in uh, the e-learning platform. So comics to me is like, uh, you can use it as, you know, the, the uh, teaching aid uh, in, in, in your class, but you can also use it to uh, create that engagement with the students. Okay, so uh, the research that I did in my class is that I wanted to apply the use of comic in order to create an engagement with students, which in the at the end of the research, I managed to do that. I succeeded to create the engagement with students because the feedback from the student mentioned that they actually had a lot of fun using, I mean, they understand the task, they understand the lesson more with the use of comics. Okay, and some of the literature reviews lah, that reveal how educational comics actually provide uh, 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 has a good function lah, uh, is functioning in the class where they they have the the function itself as a dynamic um, reading material that can engage with students. Okay, and mostly targeting children and young adults. And then this comic 
This study, the studies reveal that comics potential as a learning aid, which garner positive outcome. And this proves that comics can be used to encourage student engagement in class. Okay. And then uh, why I feel like the comic itself can be a solution to, uh, uh, additional solution to your uh, learning aid in class, because I feel like both teacher and student will have a lot of fun. Uh, in using comics in class, okay? Teachers itself uh, will be happy to look at the outcome of the uh, materials that you provided because I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of the teachers and the tutors and lecturers were were a bit, you know, I wouldn't say bored, but uh, wanted something more, something different when they created their own materials for class, okay? We use a lot of PowerPoints. We use a lot of, you know, uh, text. Why don't we include comics in our teaching materials just to uh to spice things up you know to 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 change a bit lah, uh, on the, the the usual way that we use to create the materials and this benefits the student as well because they also have a lot of fun reading all these comics while learning about the lesson and uh yeah students and also it provide a solution to students which have uh internet uh which have limited internet access because the comic itself can be forwarded via WhatsApp, they can be forwarded in um, Facebook Messenger uh, uh, group or something, okay? And you can just upload it on Facebook and all of your students can have access to the comics because they lose, they use a lower bandwidth data. Okay, so that's what I uh, feel like. Lah. All right, so the objective is to develop new strategies in engaging student who has limited access using comics and to introduce fun and effective ways to teach during non-traditional teaching and learning session through the use of comics. All right, so these are the, the, the case study that I did during my uh, my class. So I applied the comics in my class. Uh, the case study is for 30 respondent for my animation student and I use for the period of five weeks in uh, to test them. And then the subject that I use for this comic is called experimental animation. Okay, and the 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 example of comic, as you can see, this is a bit small. I can show you a much more clearer comics that I use. Okay, so the comic is in uh is weekly comics. Lah. So every time I started my lesson, I will upload the comics on e-learning platform. Okay, a uh, UMK e-learning platform, or I can just simply upload it on WhatsApp, okay? So both students, uh, those who can access e-learning and those who can access from WhatsApp uh, can download the, the comics, okay? So I gave them around 15 minutes for them to read about the comics first, okay? As you can see, the main character is inspired by myself, okay? And it's, the thing is, I can draw. So I it's easier for me to draw these comics and just, you know, do uh customize my comics but with canva which i will show you guys later you guys can do that as well okay so the the language that i use is mostly very you know uh layman language okay bahasa pasar and some sort like that so the uh this way i can create that engagement with my student it, do, it doesn't feel uh, too formal you can have both ways you can create a formal comics or you can use something as uh what i have been doing in my classes okay and I also inserted, you know, like comedic uh, images and uh, uh, dialogues for my students. So they, they actually enjoy the comics. Okay. I think this was when we started the, uh, this is was when pandemic started, when we first started online classes. So I wanted to tell them what the situation was like that at that time. Uh, it will be in pandemic. We will have classes online. So I want them to say, stay safe. And then we will we will get through this together. We will have our class together, although it's online. So that's what I wanted to show them. Lah. Okay, so those are some of the examples of comics that I applied for my classes. And let's go back to the slide. Okay, and then based on uh, the, the, the experiment that I did for my class, majority mentioned i mean overall result shows that they are very much uh enjoy they enjoyed they enjoyed the usage of comics in class okay it created something different 
for them rather than just reading uh, materials, you no know, text materials, PowerPoint slides that they always uh, uh, they, they always get for their classes. Comics created something different for them. Okay, and yeah, comic reading behavior. I wanted to know what are their uh, background in uh, how they uh, how they perceive comics. Okay, and their behavior uh, in uh, reading comics and the frequency of uh, comics reading for them. So most, I mean, eighty four percent mentioned that they actually read comics. Uh, only sixteen percent that never uh, used comics before. And uh, as you can see, the graph shows that majority mentioned comics are seen as a positive influence. Lah. Comics are fun. Comics can reduce stress. They can encourage people to read. Comics are also educational and it inspires creative process. Okay, And they feel like the comics can be an uh, educational and instructional tools in class where they feel that the visual help them to understand better and they feel like visuals, the comic, the visual in the comic uh, present what is important, what is essential, highlighting something that is important rather than just having the text and uh, everything. And then it can be also an alternative for students who uh, who dislike reading. Okay, we have some students who have who struggles in reading, you know, essays, long texts and everything. So comics actually provide uh, a, a medium, a medium for student who has, you know, uh, reading struggles to actually be interested in the topic and maybe they would read the uh, essay to complement the comics that they read earlier on. Okay, so these are the results from the students. And then I also asked them about how the use of the teacher as main character in the comics, how do they feel about it? So they feel like um, they feel like the, the, the use of characters such as uh, myself in my comics, help them to engage with the students. So uh, what I would like to encourage you in creating your comics, always use a character that is inspired by yourself to represent you as the teacher in order to engage with your student. Uh, this is where we can, you know, customize our comics, you know, create characters for your comics and then use that character in all of your comics so students can actually acknowledge that that character is you, okay? They, the character represents the teacher in the classroom okay and actually this is the character that i created for this project so this is dr john cikgu john lah dr john and it has been um, apa? um uh, it it is registered ip character under at umk and then and it can be further explored lah can be converted into animation we can include this character in you know uh, online platform, there are so many uh, uh, opportunities that we can use with the character, okay? Maybe we can start with the comic first and then we can further develop that lah, uh, after that. Okay, so the conclusion is it helps engage students during non-face-to-face -face class sessions by using low band bandwidth tools, which is the educational comics, where the character is modeled after the instructor. And educational comic as a learning aid can also encourage reluctant readers to read okay it can encourage students who dislike reading to actually pick up you know something to read uh, when they read the comic itself that is an act of reading so it's it, it, they started somewhere okay because it's fun it's fun it's visual it's interactive okay so that can be uh, a way to encourage this type of students uh. and then in a society level the use of educational comics may increase the value of comic culture as edutainment rather than purely entertainment because as you can i mean i'm sure you guys are familiar with this now when we mention comics it's always about oh comics is nothing serious it's it's purely entertainment there's nothing educational about comics well, i mean no it's actually uh, that mindset only applies i think in malaysia because outside of malaysia comics has you know a lot of opportunities myself because i studied in japan before comic is viewed differently over there okay and whenever they want to communicate with the 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 um the public, the government actually uh, hire a comic artist to draw a comic, to you know to communicate with the public. So if they say if they want to talk about the importance of vaccine, for example, they will use comic to you know spread the word to the public. It's easier rather than you know reading all the text and everything. Okay, so comic can actually when we apply comic in an educational form educational uh, setting it can actually elevate lah, elevate the comic culture in uh, in malaysia and it can also contribute to the economic activity by commercialization of educational comic and the character itself 
where the character is IP registered, we can further develop the character into many, many things. Lah. Like I mentioned earlier, this can be a character that is animated. We can create something more with this. We can apply the character for, uh, I don't know, for uh, our online platform. It can be interactive. It can be animated. There's so many things that you can use with the character. Okay, so that's what I see. Uh, this is the direction that we can use with the um, you know, comics, educational comics, character inspired by the teacher, and etc. Right. So those are some of the things that I I applied uh, during my uh, lesson in UMK uh, for my students. Um, and I would like to share the uh, a tutorial on how you can actually create your own comics using the Canva tool. Okay, so I hope you guys are familiar with Canva. I'm sure you guys know Canva. But some, some use Canva for, you know, visuals. They use for PowerPoint slide. But do you know that you can actually create comic strips uh, using Canva? Okay, so uh, I'm sure, I, I know that uh, some of you actually subscribe to Canva. And some are, uh, are using Canva, uh, you know, on a, uh, you know, uh, uh, like myself, I didn't subscribe to Canva, which I will I will probably use it in the future because it's really easy to create your comics using this website. So if you do have a subscription with Canva, so that's good. But for those who doesn't, we are going to use what we have, whatever we have with the free version of Canva, and then we can create our own online uh, our own comic strip using this website. Lah. Okay, first what you have to do is you have to you know actually go to the website. You can just type you know on Google. Canva comic strips. Just Google and then something will pop out. And you just click on the first link lah, which mentioned canva.com create comic strips. Okay, so you can create your comic strips using Canva. And these are some of the templates that already have uh, been uploaded on Canva. What I like about Canva is that the visuals are so vibrant, they're so modern, they're so contemporary. It's not like the typical, you know. Uh, free, uh, free, free images that you see on Google where they look the same. These are very much customizable and they they look uh presentable and professional. It looks like a real artist that actually draw for this uh website lah. So that's what I like about Canva. Okay, and then how you start is when you go to the first website, you will see this option: start designing a comic strip. So I want you guys to click this. And it will direct you to the uh, customizable uh, website. Lah. Okay, so we wait for a while because my internet is a bit <laughs> slow. And then on your left, you will see various uh, uh, templates or ready-made comics that you can actually use and customize. Or you can create from scratch. But what I'm going to show you today is something that you can customize from the existing uh, template that already have been uh, uploaded on the website. Lah. Okay, so let's choose one and then we can customize from there. Right, so you decide. Do you want it to be uh, how, how many uh, comic panels that you want in your design? So what you can do is maybe you can start with um, sketching your idea first. So we can, okay, I'm using Clip Studio now just to show you my uh, sketching process. Or you can just use, you know, uh, pen and paper and just just sketch your idea lah. so let's see i wanted to draw something very simple i wanted to talk about um the topic for that week so for example what what is animating for example so i want around four comic panels okay and then just do a very rough sketch okay and then just explanation, what is about, you know, just text. Animation is so and so and so. And what are the types of animation? And then maybe you can put some images or just text or example of images. And then your conclusion here. Okay. And this is an example of a four panel comics. We call this panels. Okay, the boxes, we call these panels. And then this, uh, the dialogue box is called speech balloon. And then we have the uh, subject lah, in each comic panel. So the comic panels flow seamlessly. Okay, so make sure that each comic panel have a story that continues. Okay, make sure that it goes. Uh, uh, the flow is nicely lah. Okay, and uh, when you talk about the first step, uh, the first topic, and then 
continue with the second one and third one and then you have the conclusion but if you want to create more than four comic panels you can you can have five you can have six you can have more than that but please don't do it more than around six panels in one page okay let's say if you have around a4 paper right okay, change it to portrait mode okay and then you have around six one two three comic panels let me adjust the size like this okay so this is this is nice uh this this looks good uh it doesn't have a lot of uh you don't have to draw a lot in one paper uh, in one page and there's uh you limit the information for each page so that you have to think about your reader you have to think about your student when they read the comics if you put everything in one page it could be a bit you know uh, cluttered can and uh, be, uh, be confusing for the students so it's always nice to have maximum six comic panels in one page okay so we stick with six comic panels but for this uh, example i'm going to use the fourth for comic panels lah. okay so this is your thumbnail we call this as thumbnail a rough sketch of your idea you can do it digitally because i'm so used to digital drawing but you can also use your pen and paper just to sketch your idea okay uh, and then you already have the, the the you know the rough idea of your comics you can go back to the website okay here look for something that looks uh, i mean look for the template that uh, uh, looks exactly like your idea just now okay so mine was like four comic panels right we can use something like this okay four comic panels one two three four or maybe we can use something like, let's see, maybe something like this. This is also four comic panel. One, two, three, four. And then let's try another one. I prefer the one that is slightly, you know, uh, portrait mode. So there are space for you to put your character and also the speech balloon. Let's go back to the earlier one. I, I, I really like this one. Okay, let's use this one. All right, so we have our uh, template and you guys can choose whatever you want. Lah. There's so many, just scroll down. And if you have the uh, Canva Pro, if you subscribe to Canva Pro, there's so many customizable uh, options that you can use for the uh, website and creating your comments. So this, the one that we are doing right now is the free version. Lah. Okay, let's zoom in a bit so you can see and then you can close this for, uh, for a while. All right, if you hover your mouse on the uh, comic, you can see that it's actually highlighted some of the elements in the comics. What does it mean is you can edit everything, okay? Meaning you can change this text, okay? And then this one as well, you can change the text as well. How did I just type? <laughs> Sorry. You can change that. One. and then this one as well okay and then if you hover at the photos i mean the illustration this can also be removed see okay so that's what i like about canva it's very much uh customizable and you can actually put all the uh images that you prefer in that particular comics okay and how you do that is we can actually use this uh, elements okay if you look at your left side there are certain options that you can see here we have template template was the earlier uh, earlier slide that we looked at just now and for you to actually choose lah, whichever template that you like there's also uh, an empty template that you can use okay this one as this one I, I prefer this one I will just stick to this one here and then if you go to the elements, there are certain things that you can remove and add to the particular comic panels, okay? Something like this. If you would like to use shape, you can use this one. And if you like to use graphics, there are images that you can choose. You just click see all. And then you can also add photos if you want, okay? And videos. And you can also add charts, okay, frames, grids, and so on. This is just using the, the existing images, illustration, and elements that is available via Canva. I'm going to show you how to customize later. 
Okay, so let's look at this one. So what I would like to do is I would like to remove everything and I'm actually going to create a new one. Okay, so I'm using line and shape. Okay, and to, to actually create the comic panels. Like this, and you can choose the color. You can actually change the color. Lah. And there are so many colors that you can uh, change to. So just click this one. Okay. I feel I prefer the, the sand color just now. Okay, like this. And then this one I would like to change as well. Then we can actually let's go. Yeah, we can copy and paste. Okay, let's change this one. Copy, you enter control C and then you just on the other side and then it will paste to the desired comic desired location and you will change the color it looks a bit dull so we'll change to color uh, i prefer something more vibrant so let's try orange instead then hold we'll to here this one, and then go back to this color and this color. Okay, and then I would like to remove this line at the back there. Okay, and then after friends, pick one. Oh, we can change the size to align everything eh? okay so we have the template we have the template and we are going to in, uh, to insert the graphics for this uh, comic go to graphics okay you choose element first and then you go to graphics and then click see all okay you click see all and you will see a lot of you know images okay free images we have coronavirus here and then we have shapes as well we have zodiac symbols and yeah, the, I, let's look at magic recommendation. Okay, the, my internet is a bit slow, but it is uploading. Okay, uh, as you can see here, we have so many options, uh, you know, and the images are really nice. I really love uh, the images that has been, you know, uploaded via Canva. They look very professional. And then stickers, let's see. We also have stickers, animated stickers. If you want interactive uh, content for your uh, comics, because everything is in GIF. And then let's go back to the graphics just now. Okay, so there's so many lah. Stickers and... Okay, so you can use all the images that's available here and yeah apply it to your comics so let's try one i'm trying to go back to the this one this one we use okay let's go back to graphic and let's create a character let's choose a character uh, this one maybe this one okay you just move the character here and you can resize it whichever you like right? Let's try this one. Okay, and then I would like to crop because I want it to fit in the box. So let's crop the image. Something like this. And then done. Ta-da! So we have our first image. And see, when we still hover on the elements, it is still editable. So if you don't like this image, the illustration, you can just remove it. And then let's, for the second panel, uh, we'll have this girl over here. Okay, and also crop the image so they fit inside the only panels. Okay, and then let's reuse these two images as, uh, again so they can interact with each other. Okay, 
this is why we need the thumbnail okay uh, based on the thumbnail you are able to figure out what kind of il illustration graphics images that you would like to use for your uh, comic panels lah. okay and then finally it's And then done. Right, so we have our, you know, uh, uh, we have our characters in our comics. We need them to actually, you know, have uh, information in the comics. So that's where we will put the um, speech balloon, speech uh, dialogue. Lah. And then for this one, we can use something like this. Okay. Let's change the color to white. We'll go back to element let's look for an arrow maybe so that they can actually you know talk this is not the 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 right shape lah, but we can customize it lah, something like this okay ah that right so let's copy this too is it here and then we can resize it, put it inside, and then use this shape as uh, shape again, so that, that you know who's talking in the speech balloon, okay, and so on lah. I'm just showing you how you do it lah. And then we can add the text. Okay, we can add the text. Uh, and then you can choose uh, whichever uh, font that you like. You can click here. You can click, you can use this one. So up to you lah, whether you want it to be, you know, formal or you want it to be more casual. So choose the, the appropriate uh, font that you would like for your design. Move it here and then just slightly big. So let's change the size. Oops, sorry. And be careful to not, you know, simply click on the element at the back because it is uh, customizable and movable. So you might uh, accidentally uh, messed up all the. So you can just wipe. Right. Well, and then you can just copy. Easier lah. It's easier for you to just. You just have to create the first element and then just paste it there and then move it to the side. Let's see. Okay. So you will have your first comic, okay? But if you are not subscribed to Canva Pro, you won't be able to download your comics because, um, you know, you will have. Let's see what's uh. So uh, okay. So let's look at how it will turn out. So this is how it looks like. See, you will have your comics and you can print this or you can just save it as a PDF format and then forward it to your um, uh, students. And uh, yeah, by right, you should be able to create your own comics using Canva. But I feel like uh, Canva, uh, the thing is for Canva, you use uh, standard, you know, characters in your uh, free characters, free uh, characters uh, in, the, in the website. Uh, how you can create a, a more customizable or you know uh, personalized I would say personalized cat comics is by creating your own character okay for example this one uh, let me show you how I customize my comic okay oh sorry let, let's choose one character from here I think it should be fine okay just for you know and then the way to do it is when you when you want to import the images you know your characters or your elements in the canva uh, website canva apps you have to save them as png okay. 
click on SPNG. Okay, so that the background, if you look at this, you know, uh, checkered uh, image here, it means that the background is uh, invisible, it's empty. This is the only thing that is uh, filled in color. So the background should be invisible. So whenever there's something at the back, it will pop up. So let's see how it would look like if we import this in um, Canva. Okay, so we click um, more, I think. It's upload. Okay, you click upload on the uh, left side and then you click upload media from your device. And then you look for the image that you saved as PNG just now. Okay, this one. Oh, uh, this one. Okay. Right, and then you will have your image here that is the uploading. Is it ready? Oh, yeah, I think it is. So let's remove one image here to see how the character would look like in your comics. Okay, and yeah, so you can import your image and then let's crop it so it stays inside the panel. And yeah, so here you can you are able to customize your comic if you have the ability to draw your own characters, or you can actually hire people hire people to draw the characters for you, and then make your characters customizable. But if you don't have the means, if you don't have the you know if you have limitation in that sense, please use the elements that is available on Canva uh, website. And I think it's actually okay for you to um subscribe to Canva Pro because. You can subscribe to Canva Pro because the, the function is really good for us, you know, uh, lecturers, teachers, and tutors. And it will create a sense of engagement with your student when you use educational comics in your uh, teaching materials. I think that's about it. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. John Suraya, for your informative and also interesting presentation. And I think uh, we can start our Q&A session. Is it okay, Dr.? Yeah. Okay. Okay, from first question from Nurul Muhammad, how to draw the cartoon? Any tools you use? Use graphic drawing tablet? Okay. Uh, thank you so much for the question, Nurul. Yes, uh, I actually use a, 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 a graphic drawing drawing tablet. The one that I'm using currently is called XP Pen. XP Pen 15.6 Pro. That's what it's called. Uh, the price is around uh, thousand something, thousand something. So I use that to draw that and then to draw directly directly on the monitor. But really up to you. If you if you prefer to use, you know, um. Uh, uh, the conventional pen and pen, uh, pen and paper, you can, and then you can uh, scan that and import it to uh, digital format. Lah. But it's always better to draw digitally rather than you know to draw traditionally. It's easier to manipulate the shape. Okay, so next question from Dr. Asfi. Salam, Dr. Is Canva can possible be used by people who do not have skills in drawing? What is your opinion? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the, the 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 tutorial that I showed you earlier was using existing illustration, you know, um, materials that is available, elements that is available on Canva. So you can use whatever you uh, the free free illustrations and free images that is available on the website. Uh, but some people prefer to to have it more personalized. That's why I. Uh, showed you how to personalize the images where you can, you know, actually apply your characters that you draw on your own. So yeah, my answer is yes. For those who cannot draw, you can still use Canva. Okay, so uh, soalan seterusnya, doktor boleh tengok drawing tool apa yang doktor guna? Um, are you talking about my software? The software that I use? Uh, if, if okay if you ask me about the software that i use i mainly use clip studio paint that's what it's called 
originally is called Manga Studio from Japan. Um, but some 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 still use Photoshop. You can use other software. There's so many you know drawing uh software that you can use for this uh you know uh drawing tools. Photoshop, Ebix Paint, and then we have uh Paint Tools. I there's so many. There's so many. But for myself, I use Paint Studio Paint because I'm I'm so used to it. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm drawing using a tablet, a uh, graphic tablet. Okay, is there any other question? Okay, so uh, I think um, I have one question for you, okay. Dr. John. Yeah. Okay, so um, we know that in comics, uh, it's related to um, nonfiction, right? So it's more to imagination and nonfiction. Uh, what is your opinion in terms of using uh, comics in science uh, science uh, education. Ah, okay. Because we know that science, science itself is a lot of facts, a lot of, um, you know, uh, perkataan pun banyak. So how do we, how do we um, com, uh, choose in terms of um, penggunaan perkataan yang sesuai uh, untuk kita embed dalam comics tu? So, what is your opinion on that? Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Saida. Uh, maybe I would uh, like to rephrase balik lah. Um, you mentioned earlier that comic is uh, something a non-fiction, betul tak? Uh, the thing is, a comic is not fixed. Uh, comics ni, they're very uh, versatile. Uh, kalau you tengok dekat, I, I, I use a lot of examples from Japan because I studied there. So, kebanyakan saya punya reference datang dari sana. Kalau dekat Japan tu, comics tu ada for everybody. Ada untuk budak kecil, ada untuk orang besar. Um, my teacher, professor yang berumur 55 tahun, dia still menangis kalau baca manga, baca komik. So, uh, the, the impact of the comic itself to them is very uh, vast, very huge. So, komik tu bukan something yang kanak-kanak, is for everybody. So, maksudnya kat sini, komik tu sendiri versatile, uh, dia boleh guna untuk uh, factual punya content, dia boleh guna untuk science, dia boleh guna untuk math. Dia boleh guna untuk everything. Ha, cuma cara penyampaian tu yang berbeza. Macam contohnya, the one that I showed you earlier, the the example that I use, bahasa dia bahasa pasal. Because uh, I, I I I don't want the comics to be the only main uh, material for my uh, lesson. Itu hanyalah pengantaraan untuk create the engagement. Because at the end of the day, they still have to read the slide. They still have to read all the materials that I uploaded in the uh, e-learning platform lah. So, uh, to answer your question, sebenarnya boleh sangat-sangat, digalakkan sangat-sangat because uh, some science ke apa benda semua ni, dia prefer untuk guna visual to to explain benda ni. Kadang-kadang nak explain in text, payah, betul tak? So, kita ada visual ni lagi senang untuk kita uh, 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 make our reader untuk fokus kat mana nak tengok dulu, visual dia kat mana, visual first and then explanation. Visual first, explanation. So, flow, mata kita tu membantu student untuk lebih faham pada uh, komik tu dan dengan menggunakan bantuan komik ni lah sikit. So the answer is yes, you can use it for science. Okay, thank you. Um, any other question? From the audience? Okay, so Nadia Kamal, can comic strip uh, in Canva can be saved in uh, GIF for simple animation? Uh, should be because they have that function, you know, GIF uh, function, GIF function just now. So should be able to save that and then uh, contain the animation or the animated parts of the uh, comics. I think yes. Thank you, Nadia. She's my friend actually. <laughs> okay. So any more questions? All right. So Shazi Shaza, thank you, Dr. Suraya. Interesting presentation. We'll try this. Okay, good. Dr. Shaza. Shaza, thank you, Dr. Shaza. Good luck. Okay, so sambil kita tunggu soalan, again with uh, science, uh, apa, penggunaan komik dalam science education, I think it's very interesting, especially kita, uh, for me, I'm from uh, science background. So, um, semuanya fakta dan isunya adalah dekat mana kita nak make sure point yang 
yang betul-betul penting untuk highlight uh, so that we can summarize uh, the topic yang kita nak share especially untuk uh, for our uh, apa uh, teaching and learning punya purpose. So do you think that as a academician uh, and also we are not from an art background, do you think we need to um, uh, need help from uh, fakulti bahasa ke untuk untuk manage the language itself maksudnya komik dia perlu ringan kan so adakah kita perlu uh, untuk dapatkan kepakaran daripada pakar-pakar uh, uh, bahasa ke untuk sesuaikan dengan komik tu faham uh, for me collaboration is always good you know uh, daripada uh, kita punya background yang berbeza you can we can always uh, Uh, collaborate dengan someone from art background kita boleh collaborate dengan someone from linguistic punya background and then dari situ sendiri kita boleh create satu research baru di mana kita cross all this bidang so for me yes why not why not kita um, actually sebelum saya uh, berpindah daripada UMK ke UC uh, uh, fakulti vet rasanya ada in, ada ada uh, apa get in touch dengan saya untuk create comic content for dia you know i don't know which subject yang dia orang planning to do tapi tak jadilah plan tu sebab saya dah pindah so it's it's actually nice lah for for people from outside of the you know art punya background to interact with us you know uh, boleh cari lah FTKW lah kat FTKW ramai yang ada boleh buat buat uh, project project macam ni nak collaborate dengan saya pun boleh saya yang dekat UPC pun boleh boleh jumpa juga so kita collaborate uni sikit uni sikit so yes saya rasa memang perlu dan kalau kalau perlu macam kalau nak tahu mana satu part yang kita perlu highlight uh, only orang yang mengajar subjek tu yang tahu kat mana yang kita nak fokuskan uh, those who are teaching the subject should be able to to to, to pinpoint lah kat mana yang penting kat mana yang perlu highlight bukan semualah kita buat komik macam tu okay thank you very much uh, I'm very sad I like your Funko Pop collection doctor Thank you. Yes, I I collect Funko Pop. <laughs> okay, so um, so I think uh time is now approaching uh three twenty five. Ah, nak dekat tiga tiga puluh. So untuk at, at the end of our webinar. So thank you again, Dr. John Suraya, uh, for okay. interesting and also eye opening session actually, especially untuk untuk education uh purpose uh. Uh, to improve our teaching and learning method. So I think with that, uh, thank you to Dr. our speaker, Dr. John Suraya, and also to all um, audience and see you again in next uh, e-learning webinar, inshallah. And with that, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys.